Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I'm the host and the visionary of the Valder Beebe show, God Talk. Some people talk to God and others believe that God talks to them. Join us in conversation with authors, religious clergy, metaphysicians, and regular people like you and I and God Talk. God Talk is a podcast available on FM Radio, Roku TV, and online. Subscribe at ValderBBShow.com. You can also subscribe at YouTube.com slash ValderBBShow. Join the conversation of God Talk. I'll see you there. Good day and welcome to the Valder BB Show. It's a brand new day and I've got brand new guests to start us off with. You know, I'm talking uh, to my guest about engagement rings, wedding bands, wedding days. Yeah, that's still a popular thing to discuss. So I've got Jamila Stewart. She's a freelance writer. And I've got Tara Zarr. She's with Hellsberg Diamonds. Ladies, welcome to the Valder BB Show for the first time. Thank you so much. Hi, Jamila, if so I could... Well, I want to start with you, Jamila, because I just want you to tell me what the emerging trends is in wedding rings, and then I'll go to Tara. Absolutely. So the biggest thing right now is that consumers are really looking to learn and explore their options, especially with so many options on the market right now. Knowing the differences between a natural grown diamond and a lab grown diamond has become more important than ever. But when you get down to the nitty gritty of the engagement trends that brides are shopping for right now, you're going to see that they're still opting for those solitaire cut diamonds. So that would be your oval, your round, your cushion, and your emerald cut shapes. Um, Those are going to really pop. You're also going to see that they might be shopping for two and three stone um, diamonds. They might be incorporating color into their styles this time around. So maybe you're going to see aquamarine, morganite, sapphire, beautiful gemstones of that nature. Um, You might even see brides mixing metals this time around. So maybe instead of opting for rose gold um, bands like they were at some point, um, they're shifting over to yellow gold gold bands, which are actually going to be great for all skin tones. Um, It's easier to keep up with maintenance wise. They might even be looking at um, platinum bands and um, platinum bands are actually going to be, um, they're known for their long lasting and durability. All right, then that's a lot. Okay. Tara, Tara, um, she mentioned lab grown diamonds. Can you elaborate a little bit on that for us? Absolutely. So at Hellsberg Diamonds, we many people are familiar with the four C's of a diamond, cut, color, clarity, and carat weight. But at Hellsberg Diamonds, we've introduced a fifth C, which is choice. And what that means is we have an extensive collection of engagement rings, both natural diamonds and lab-grown diamonds. And lab-grown diamonds, just to elaborate, they are real diamonds. They actually have the same chemical and optical properties of a natural diamond. The only difference between the two is their origin. So a natural diamond um, is mined from the earth and a lab grown diamond comes from a, um, a natural diamond seed that is grown you know, with advanced technology in the laboratory. The great thing about lab grown diamonds is that it does allow you to get a lot more sparkle for your spend. That's very interesting. I didn't know that. And I hope my audience learned something new while I did. And before I go back, um, excuse me, before I go back to Jamila, did the, has the pandemic had any effect on this? It's, it's affected every other segment of the economy. You know, I will say it's a very fun time to be in, in the diamond world and especially the engagement world as COVID has brought a lot of people together and there are a lot of engagements happening. So, you know, that would be, like I said, it's a, it's a fun time to be in, in my industry. Um, and it's a fun time to be in the market for an engagement ring right now, just because there are so many choices for you. Thank you. Jamila, you know, uh, everything has a trend and, and are we seeing some new trends in weddings, the colors, the patterns, you know, brides just still wearing traditional white? Well, there definitely 
incorporating more color this time around. You will see an uptick in some alternative colors for dresses, but at the same time, brides are definitely still looking to ivories, whites, tans, but maybe they're opting to incorporate more color into their parties looks, for instance, um, as well as their decor and their accessories. Oh, I like that. Okay, Tara, as I wrap up, uh, you got any advice for someone who's listening today about shopping for an engagement ring since you guys are the engagement ring uh, uh, leaders in the market? Yes, definitely. Um, like, I definitely get into a Hellsberg Diamond store and and try try different rings on, try different shapes on, try you know the natural options of diamonds, try the mine or try the lab grown options. Um, you know, just just find an engagement ring that that talks to you and that is unique as your love. Well, ladies, Tara and Jamil, I want to thank you for talking to me. Is there a place we can go online for Hellsberg Diamond and more information, Tara? Absolutely. Um, you can go at www.hellsberg.com. Thank you, ladies. Thanks for joining us. And hopefully everybody takes your advice and get married. I'm really a proponent <laughs> of marriage. Thank you. Have a great day. Thank you. You too. Thank you. Hi, I'm Bounder BB. I host the Valder BB Show, broadcast on radio and television. And this is my phone pouch. My phone pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands-free, pocket-free, purse-free, even belt-free. Head on over to myphonepouch.com.